I'm uh, Michael Donovan. I'm the uh, chair of the Schizophrenia Working Group of the PGC and I work at Cardiff University in the Medical Research Council's uh, Centre for Neuropsychiatric Genetics and Genomics. We are in the process of assembling very large uh, common variant studies and trying to integrate them in the future with uh, bioinformatics, uh, post-genomics, and rare variant uh, studies. We hope uh, to produce uh, the, a much larger study than has hitherto been published. We're in the process of analyzing common variant data from about 70,000 cases and uh, over 100,000 controls. Uh, the preliminary analyses that we've done indicates that we found approximately 250 associated loci uh, to schizophrenia um, and that should be a major advance on what we've published before. The other areas that we're working hard on, we have a, a Southeast Asian working group within uh, the schizophrenia group and that it should be producing a manuscript looking at the differences and similarities between schizophrenia uh, largely in European ancestry individuals and schizophrenia in people of Southeast Asian ancestry. And so they're, they're the two uh, large primary um, genome-wide association studies. Uh, beyond that, the uh, PGC group is hoping to integrate with uh, a large sequencing effort being led by uh, the Broad Institute, where we hope that the common variant analyses that we are undertaking will uh, inform some of the analyses from the rare variant studies and also uh, mutually we hope that some of the findings from the rare variant studies will help us pinpoint some of the uh, disease associations between what are quite often quite uh, large uh, regions of association from genome-wide association. And then moving beyond that uh, there's increasingly a uh, substantial amount of new functional annotation of the human genome, which we hope will enable us to interpret better the genome-wide association data that we've been generating. Uh, one of the problems uh, that I'm sure uh, many people will be aware of is that genome-wide association studies don't really uh, pinpoint function and they don't pinpoint specific genes, but hopefully with the integration of some of the, the new functional annotations, we'll be able to mine the genomic data for better biological insights into the disorder.